Hey guys, how's it going? Well, just thought I'd let you check out my XTL setup. This is a remote unit and this is actually uh, something I just came up with just for my home and what I decided to do is I had some cabinets here and you know there's nothing special about them but uh, what I needed to do is I needed to get uh, trying to hook these XTLs up especially with remote heads uh, it's real difficult <coughs> to do uh, outside of the shop and I'm working on getting uh, I've got a, I've got the XTLs uh, let's see I've got two Q splits uh, 110 watt uh, remote heads I've got uh, one XTL 5000 with encryption uh, 9600 baud and it's got uh, I believe AES 256 uh, yeah that's right AES 256 uh, <coughs> encryption on them on it and uh, this is pretty much what I came up with for something very cheap, something very easy to deal with, and I've got the cords routed down through the uh, table here, tabletop, put the external speaker here, got the mic, and it's a pretty clean install. I mean, when you look at it, uh, couldn't, you know, couldn't get much cleaner than that. Now down here, what I've got is I've got a laptop computer for the programming uh, that I do just at home. And I've got over here the power supply and the cables. And then I've got that pyramid, uh, pyramid power supply there then down here I've got the high power UHF unit which will soon be replaced with an XDL VHF 110 watt unit uh, what I could do is I could probably uh, make some shelves and actually I could probably hook up one of each band split which would be really really cool and all I'd really need to do in order to do that, to switch them over, is just to unplug the data cable. And I don't, I think I've got a flashlight here. Unplug that data cable. Uh, I'm still trying to work on the routing and things like that. Uh, on this side here, I have just two holes to route wires through if I need to and let's see here uh, all the cables route through and this laptop I've got a spare cabinet in the bottom here but the laptop is for pro programming I run the programming cable up through the top I program it through the head which in turn programs uh, this so for a mode head installation it's not too bad uh, I think it turned out pretty nice and you guys can let me know what you think but for something clean and just for personal use and for some testing uh, outside of the shop this isn't bad I don't think you know these uh, the speakers. I'll go ahead and power up an XTS. Oh, hang on a second. Turn that down for one. Man. Sorry about that. Anyway. Check, check, check. Check. And 
then on this side. Check, check, check. And if I want to go digital. Check, check, check. Ah, uh, don't tell me I didn't program. Check, check. Did I program digital into this? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Check, check. I didn't. Well, anyway, uh, I've been dealing with several of these XTLs. This will come through, it should come through on digital on this side. Check. Shit. Let's see here. Oh, uh, this is a different one, okay. I need to program that second channel on the XDL for digital. Check, 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 check. check. So not too bad all the way around. Uh, as far as updates go, I've got... Uh, as you can tell, the menus can change on this. DTMF keypad. Sorry guys. DTMF keypad is hot. Hold on a second. DTMF keypad is hot, and that's pretty much it for this little bad boy here, but that's pretty clean, I think. You guys can let me know what you think. Uh, I've got, uh, I just got 20 uh, XTS 5000s in, Model 3s, they've got 19 firmware, uh, mint housings, and uh, they're in the black. I don't have any fire yellow anymore. Uh, I also have the 800 megahertz units with 9600 baud smart zone omni link. And this is one of the VHFs. So I've got 20 of those in firmware is R20 with a host of 19.50 Bravo processors. If you need uh, the tri encryption modules, I've got a lot of those. I've got the ESOFB and I've also got AES 256. Whatever you need, I can handle. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, just to program this thing up, all I need to do is just run the power cord up, plug it, take, unplug this plug the cable in, go down to the bottom and pull up the program. So, you know, all in all, not a bad setup. And that's a random unit. But, uh, that's pretty much it. VXTLs, I'm getting ready to ready to sell, and I'm not going to probably be listing them on a eBay, but uh, it's possible. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I messed up my knee uh, just a couple days ago, and it's really, really, uh, really, really been a mess. But I've got a lot of a lot of work done and I've got a lot of work to do. I've got to do 24 Impress single chargers uh, tonight. Upgrade the firmware in those. Uh, they're brand new in the box and 3.40 firmware but I'm going to bump it up to 3.90. Uh, if you need any 
of I know some of you guys are wanting the XDLs uh, the VHF that's coming in I'm gonna go ahead and keep but as far as uh, as far as the 800 megahertz dash mount unit and the Q split units and the S split units I think I've got eight in total and I've got all the cabling I've got everything uh, I believe I've got all the mics I may be short one or two uh, but I can probably pick those up without too much problem I don't think I'm going to be carrying the XTL line uh, it's just not a profitable uh, it's not profitable enough and it's too time consuming to really carry these radios uh, long term uh, like I said in, in countless times in the videos the cable costs uh, you know the the power harness costs, the accessory uh, wiring loom costs, the speakers cost, and when you get all this stuff tied up, uh, brackets, uh, antennas, you know it just all. Not only that, but the I buttons for the uh, firmware upgrades, it just all adds up. But I think that's a pretty clean uh, unit. I'm going to be replacing this unit with a blackout head uh, that is an Odyssey 5, and it's actually came from the Motorola factory at, with uh, the black basil. I don't know. I wouldn't mind. Uh, I, I'm kind of partial to the to the silver ones. It's been a long day, and it's going to be a long night. But anyway, uh, yeah, I need to program this in, so I, I did that on the, I believe on the last XTL, but I think on this one I just forgot. But uh, all in all, very good units. Adjustable brightness controls, uh, color changing. that also jumps over custom colors are edit editable I'm going to go back and set it to the home channel here and that's pretty much it the antenna that I'm using is a Larson uh, tri-band antenna and that will cover the VHF, UHF, uh, UHF low and UHF high and uh, 800 megahertz. It's a catch-all antenna and it's a mag mount uh, NMO and then I've got the full feature mic here. I think it's a pretty nice setup really. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think but as far as just having everything else out of the way and out of sight and out of mind uh, I think it turned out pretty good. But anyway uh, if you're needing radios, if you're needing parts uh, just let me know and I'll talk to you guys later. I think it's a pretty good setup all in all. Not bad at all. Very clean. Anyway, take it easy guys and hope everything's going good for you. Later on.